Hola! Ole! Yeah, that's the intro. I'm gonna use for Bold uh, by Ava Balthazar. I'll let you know that my wife is currently blocking out a jumper there, so this has been translated by Julia Sanchez. Come on, Kieran. Yes! Basically, this is mid. It, it is run of the mill. Mid. The problem with Boulder is that it moves into the hyperbolic to such an extent that it's a little bit like an emo teenager. Our protagonist who is given the name Boulder is a cook. She's not a chef, she's a cook. She's a one-man band. In fact, Boulder tells us that the reason is is that she can't cooperate with anyone, therefore likes to stay in her own lane doing exactly what she wants to do. She sleeps around with women, she does what she needs to do, she chops up peppers. What a life. One fated day, the person to give her her namesake, Samsa, comes on board. A geologist. And these two have glorious lesbian sex! To the point that, well, in work I do a book of sweepstakes, because there's 13 of us, and I allocate books to people. Now one of those people found an extract online and decided to sh share it around the company! Only then to recall the email, sorry, I'm really sorry, but on page 16 there's like a really graph like strap on scene, so please don't fire me, I've only been here for a month. For Boulder, Samsa, possibly the strap on, all relocate to Reykjavik in Iceland, where it is isolated, where it is secluded, where it is foreign to these two people. Knowing the Boulder is a little bit of a nomad, maybe there would be a discussion about immigration, about having a home that isn't your home, maybe having a discussion about language and cultural barriers. But no, this is told from the point of view of Boulder, and as we've learned from <laughs> her CV, she doesn't want to do what other people want to do. She's a little bit selfish in that regard. And this is where the story, from halfway onwards, moves into the fact that Samsa is worried. Her biological clock is ticking. She wants a kid. Boulder does not want a kid at all. But because she loves Samsa, decides, well, have a kid and I'll be here. Then the rest of the story is Boulder being very hyperbolic by the fact that she doesn't want the kid. The point that when the kid is born and she lays eyes on it, she's like, well, I wish I was dead. In regards to the topic of having kids or not, I have too, and maybe that's some context that you might want to judge me on. But Balsa doesn't give us any argument, she doesn't explore any of this. This isn't like a treatise about antinatalism or why antinatalism is a thing. This is just Balsa saying, I don't want a kid, and then throughout it keep telling us she didn't want a kid. Which is true. She didn't want the kid, but now she has a kid, and she doesn't want the kid. That is the dialogue between the reader and the text, is that... She doesn't want a kid. I would love to expand on this, but I just can't. If the point of view of Boulder was swapped around to Samson, the person who wanted a kid, and the story was, who wanted a kid, then she has the kid, and is like, oh great, I've always wanted a kid, I'd still be a bit... okay? It's overtly hyperbolic to its detriment. It's a bit early 2000 emo, okay? I tried so hard, got so far, for the end, doesn't even matter. It's mid, it's okay, it's fine, there's nothing special about this. Five, done.